Hey there guys, Yuli Azar here from Project Laptop Lifestyle and in this video I would love to review a book which I read and I really loved and the book is called Traction, a Startup Guide to Getting Customers and I would love to really bring like a quick review of the book just so you'll get an idea of what is the book about and if you like it and if you think it's valuable I really recommend you to go and read and buy the book because I really think it's great. Now the book is about how to get traction in your business and how to get basically customers in your business. It's about marketing and really the book lays out 19 ways in total, like 19 different marketing channels which you can get customers in. And now I've been studying marketing for a few years and I think this book is great because even though I know there are different channels, this book like really systemizes and shows you the different 19 channels, which I will tell you in a second, as well as tell like in a systematic and uh, very scientific way how you can actually approach it and how you can do it. Now, sometimes all you need is one channel literally to catapult your business into a new level. And those are like lots of ideas which you can do. So it's different channels and the book also recommends you to focus usually on one channel. Get this channel working, focus on one thing, because even one of those channels can be million of dollars, millions of dollars business. If you combine a few, it can be more, but focus on one and when you have one under control, when one is working, go second ones. So I'll get into the 19 different marketing channels. And number one, targeting blogs. So today the internet is so big, you have so many blogs and many blogs have millions of visitors. And that's why blogs have really great power because if an, a blogger is an influencer, can actually send traffic to a new product, for example, Literally from one blog post, he can send hundreds or sometimes thousands of new customers to a new company, a new startup. And second traction channel is publicity. You do something public. It can be in the TV or in another place. You get publicity. And when something is really public, it, people will go uh, to your website, to your company and maybe purchase your product. Number three, unconventional PR. Now, what does it mean? Like, if you, I'll take an example of Richard Branson when he launched, uh, I'm not sure which one it was related to, related to Virgin, but he actually drove with a tank, I believe it was in the New York City, and it took so much attention because nobody drives the tanks in New York City, and this was really unconventional. It's not conventional that every time you market a new startup, you take a tank and you go across New York City. So it's considered unconventional PR, public relations. Traction channel number four, search engine marketing. And what does it mean? Basically, PPC. Maybe it's a term you use more, pay-per-click. You can uh, basically market on AdWords for Google. You can market on Bing and on their system. And you can really get lots of pay-per-click. This is clicks you're paying for it and uh, getting to you. And uh, you have social ads as well. You can do specifically ads on social platforms, on Facebook, you can do it on Twitter, on Instagram. You have millions of people there and you can easily target the people you want. So social ads is a big one. You have offline ads. Offline ads is a big one as well. Uh, obviously, it's not for every business, but still, if you're targeting a specific niche, a country, think of a place where you can put offline ads. You can put your website, you can put some ad and people still see it. It still works, you know, even 2016 when you have the internet, people still do offline ads because it still works. And there are ways to measure it, even though it's not measurable exactly like it is online, or you see every click how it's done. You have search engine optimization. SEO, meaning getting your website, for example, on number one on Google on your main keyword. Also a huge thing. Let's say your keyword is very competitive. If your website is gonna be number one on a certain keyword, this alone can drive you sometimes millions of visitors to your company startup and uh, you have lots of strategies regarding SEO I know I'm doing SEO with uh, my businesses and it's a great traction channel some people are SEO experts that's what they do and that's their businesses so a great uh, marketing channel the next one would be content marketing what does it mean content marketing meaning you're actually creating content a very highly valuable content that will serve others and you market for it. Let's say you have a blog, but you really write amazing, fucking amazing blog posts, and those blog posts create value for everyone who reads it, will bring traffic, 
And once it sticks there, it also gets SEO values. So you can actually get millions of visitors sometimes to your blog and this can convert, for example, to your services, to your product. And that's a, definitely a marketing channel. Some companies use this as a main marketing channel. You have email marketing. I'm actually an email marketer and I had an email marketing business and I'm pretty good at email marketing. Some companies I know uh, generate 90% of their revenue, no exaggeration, from email. So whoever doesn't do email doesn't know the power of email. I personally just had much more experience with it, so I know the power of it. But email marketing is about having your own email list and sending emails to them and you market to them. And it's really having a one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, because they open the email and usually they're alone on the computer, so it's a great way to market as well and a whole different traction and marketing channel. Another one, the next one would be viral marketing, meaning how to get your product, service, or message viral. So people will actually share it, refer friends, and some things, even some YouTube videos, and maybe some products are viral. Let's say Facebook, for example. Facebook was very, very viral in the beginning because you wanna see friends who are using it. So let's say you start using Facebook in the first day, you start referring and telling it about everybody. If you love a certain book or a movie, you start telling about everybody. So it's a very viral. Some things are more viral, some are not. And you can think about how to make your product or service more viral. It's definitely one traction channel, which is great. Next one will be engineering as marketing. What does it mean? It means that basically you create a product, a service for free, and this serves as marketing. Some companies actually create a service which is very available and brings people to it, it's free, and then you get like literally millions of users who are using your free service. And then some people from this free service converts to the paid one. And it's a marketing. You get traffic, you get people who are using it, people start loving you, they're trusting you, and then they buy the other products you have. So it's one traction and marketing channel to use. Next one would be business development, B2B, business to business. You can actually develop your business with some big deals with other companies, with other businesses. Here you don't deal necessarily with the consumer, not business to client. And some big business deals can take it to such a next level and if that's your focus, it can be again, a whole new traction marketing channel. Next one will be sales. To actually have a salesperson or sales team selling for you. I know in my businesses, for example, I don't have salespeople. So it's something I started looking at and I'm looking to hire a salesperson so I'll actively start selling more of my products and my services. And it's definitely a huge traction channel. Some companies rely only on sales. Next one would be affiliate programs, meaning people actually earn money by referring your products to others. And different affiliate programs have different payouts. Some will be 20%, 50%, 90%. But let's say a product is worth $100 and you give your affiliate 80%, literally $80, but you get to keep $20. But what if this affiliate will bring you a million dollars? And there are lots of multi-million affiliates. So affiliate programs is a very strong marketing channel and sometimes the focus of itself. Other thing is existing platforms because sometimes you already have existing platforms where your customers are located. For example, you have uh, some Reddit forums or maybe some specific sub-niche forums or other platforms which are existing and your customers are already there. All you need to do is just go over and join the platform and start talking to your customers and marketing from there. That's one marketing and traction channel. You have trade shows where you can actually go to different trade shows, physical ones. And for some businesses, it's very relevant. I know I wasn't looking at myself because it's online, but trade shows is very, it's one marketing channel. In addition, you have offline events. That's the next traction and marketing channel. You can create an event. You can even do a free event organize people, maybe bring and sponsor another event, or you can bring in some speakers to your event and this will advertise your blog, your name. Uh, really, really strong marketing channel. Next one would be speaking engagements. So speaking engagements meaning you can actually offer yourself for free to speak in an event, or you speak for a paid fee, but you speak and people actually know you as a leader and trust you because you are on the stage, you're speaking and They'll trust you and then they'll go to your company. It's one marketing and traction channel. And the last one would be community building. Some companies are really good at building communities. Really community where there's like conversations going on and it's really interacting with the customers, they interact with each other. 
And some companies have really strong communities and like that's very poor. Literally like you have millions of people, sometimes less, communicating and that builds up a really strong brand. Now, I dumped on you 19 different marketing channels, and as I said before in the beginning of the video, usually in only one. Um, if you think it's valuable, I really recommend you getting into the book. They will uh, give you much better insights and understanding uh, of what is going on there. And if you like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on the book if you like it as well. And I'll see you in the next one.